Hi, I'm Luke. And I'm Corey. We're from Star Water Systems. Got a jet pump that needs replaced? In today's world of well pumps, there are two ways to draw water from a well. Traditionally, pulling, and more recently, pushing. Jet pumps use the former method. Good deal. So how do I identify what I'm working with? You're going to be working with one of three things. A shallow well jet pump. This pump is rated for a maximum depth of 25 feet. A deep well jet pump. This is the deepest above ground pump in the lineup. It can go to a maximum depth of 110 feet. Note that it also has two holes for stronger pumping. And the convertible jet pump. This pump is similar to the deep well jet pump, but it's rated for a maximum depth of 40 feet. Finally, the submersible well pump. This pump is a permanent installation under the ground, and we go more in depth on this pump in a different video. For the purposes of this video, we will focus on the shallow well, deep well, and convertible jet pumps. Okay, so obviously the difference is in how deep the pump can pull from the water. So what are the depths that these pumps can actually pull from when we're comparing shallow, convertible, and a deep well jet pump? Well, the shallow well can go to a depth of 25 feet. For depths of 26 to 40 feet, you want to stick with the convertible. Anything deeper than that, you want to go with the deep well. Okay, I got all that. Anything else I need to know? Yes. You should notice that there are two holes on the front of the deep well jet pump and only one on a shallow well. The two holes mean it has the ability to pump more water. This system helps to pull water from greater depths by creating a vacuum. So it sounds like if I'm replacing a shallow well pump, I should stick to a shallow well pump, and if I need to replace a deep well pump, replace it with a deep well pump, right? Correct. Another thing to note, if you're replacing a deep well pump, you'll also need to replace the ejector that's in the hole. It's a bad idea to just replace the pump because every ejector is designed to work with a specific type of pump. And you never know if that old ejector that's been in the ground will be worn out. So I'm seeing we've got several different models lined up here. What differences should I take note of? Well, the more horsepower you have, the greater your suction capabilities. Brilliant. I noticed the sticker here. Do you still really make these pumps here in the USA? Yep right in the heart of Indiana in Kendallville, USA. That's awesome that you still are manufacturing here. Seems like a big deal. It is a big deal. All of our competitors have moved production overseas, but because of our commitment to quality and the demand for a reliable product, we've been able to keep jobs local to the USA. Great, so sounds like I should write down three things before I go to find a replacement. How deep am I pulling water from? What is the current horsepower of my pump? Is it a deep well or convertible pump? Anything else that I should take note of? Nope, you're pretty much set. If you're pulling up pipe, I would recommend replacing the foot valve. And if your pump isn't running correctly, make sure to check the troubleshooting guide or give us a call at Star Water Systems. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next video.